So that was unexpected good news. Small broker, actually. You can tell he's not the farmer. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's the drill working there. Morning, cues. Maybe. Morning. I've got a bag of feed over my shoulder for the sheep. That roller you see there, that brush, I ordered all the bits for it yesterday. So they should arrive at the end of the week. We'll get them all swapped out. So I need to run around to the bearing shop. Uh, just 10 minutes away. Get a new bearing and casing sorted out for that as well. Laurie's in over there picking up bones out of the butcher and whatnot. Dad's just put the trailer on there because we've got three bullocks away to a uh, commercial slaughterhouse house this morning because we've got too many fat ones. Right, we're at yard three at the moment. Just getting feed sorted out here for the calves and then we'll load up three beasts. Right, we'll get three of these. Got three up in the race straight in the trailer. There we go. Come on, what's your back? Two, two, six, yeah? Nine, seven, one for you. Find some pins as well. Handy. Found another pin. Is in there. Another one that needs repaired. Dogs lost, lost half their space. Poor doggy. Eh? Job done. Just get the passports. We'll be passing home on the way back anyway. Grab the passports and away and they go. It's only a 10 minute drive to get in from home. Paperwork secured. Three cementals. Let's go. At the slaughterhouse now, they originally came out and said it's going to be a big wait and it's got the full. But the boss man's managed to shiggle some things about it, move some animals and get in a wee space for me. So don't have to wait. There they go. Done. That was quicker than I thought. There's only five minutes in there. Come on, beast. Scrubs up. Just going to get to welding this pin. One more pin. Rummage about in here. A good one. Got the hot glue gun out. Oh, oh, a bit crack on it. That one's a bit straighter. I'm not going anywhere. Take these with me. She's pretty good at not chasing them. Just shifting stuff about because the vet's coming in about a couple of hours. I'm just getting the pen set up so we can run the cattle down into the... So this gate should just swing right up to the edge of that. Closing that gap. Perfect. There you go. It's fine there. And then that gate swings across to halfway and then we'll just leave it for now and then when we actually get to these cows, we'll just put the fork up there in the wee gap that's left. And I need one of these gates over here. Okay, it's obviously found some pins as well, so we're good on pins now. Originally I was gonna put a gate at the end of the race here, but then Realised there was these poles here that fit in the slot in like that. Makes a gate. So the cows can just come out of the crush there. And we've got acres of space to come and turn and mingle about. Whereas before, that gate was from that post right up to close in front of the post there. So there was hardly any room. But anyway, that's that. Not been used in a while, those bars. They're a bit covered in moss and grass. But anyway. Also, everyone's asking what kind of snap-on tools I've got. I've got none. I've just got the hat. 
other wee forklifts arrived now. So we'll get the other one out and get the wee one in. Tiny wee load. And we'll get the other one out of this shed here, the store, and then we'll do a swap. The person who was sweeping obviously didn't know how to move the forklift. Just grab the battery as well, the charger, it's going back because the other charger is different. New toy. See how we get on with this one. <whistles> Giving him a tour in blue light. A wee bit more nimble this machine. Do a 360 with it. <laughs> it's just done a sixpence. <laughs> the back plate on this, it's really tall, so just checking whether the forks actually will reach. I don't think they will. We'll probably have to take that back plate off. Keep going up. Whoa, that's, you're probably about a centimetre away from the ceiling. Can't lift up high enough to lift the pallet off the rack. Just bring it down now. There's only four bolts, I'll take them off. Right, that's that off. Should reach the ceiling now. If we'd got one, we'd get one just for a bit shorter, so you'd still have the base, the, the back plate on it. Don't know why that's blue, anyway. <laughs> He's totally got himself stuck, I'm not gonna help. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Right, just go straight there, straight there. You can tell he's not the farmer. This one's got scales on it, so I'll put the ginger beer on here. You hold this wee button. 0.95 of a ton is in that. So I worked it out about 540 kilo of liquid, so you've got 400 kilo-ish of actual glass. Right, anyway, we'll have a look at that later. Blow the straw just going away, Kev's head along the road to yard number four to load it. Um, so I've had to actually do some manual labour and lift some gates for once. <sighs> Bit of a change. These old orange gates weigh a ton. Probably the reason we've still got these orange gates is because they're so heavy and well built. They don't fall to pieces. Just meaning to get a bucket of gravel, the bucket and put it outside the race there. Uh, the crush there where we'd be standing, but Fortliff's obviously along the road. So I can't do that, unless i got a wheelbarrow, but I've, I've done my manual labour for the day. Just run these five down into there. You should come to that side yet. You should come to that side yet. Second time lucky. Headed over that side because that's the gate into the field which they're used to just going straight out to the grass. So they went that way. They're way back up and guess what? They're all, uh, all bar one are in calf. So you didn't see much of that. It was a bit of a whirlwind. We we're trying to figure out how to get the crush working and got it just about, but good. Yeah, good news. You can't say it's bad news. Good news of the five, one was meant to be in calf and four weren't. It turns out four were in calf and one wasn't. The only issue is we've been fattening the ones up. They were just going to be going away next week. That's why we just scanned them just to be sure. And glad we scanned them to be sure because four are in calf. So of the five in here, there's a blonde in the back. You can't see she was meant to be in calf. So she is definitely in calf, done. Of the other four that were meant to be empty, three have got calves. So. Uh, scanning, it's not that accurate within the first 28 days or it can show negatives when they actually are in calf. So they must have been within that period or slightly later because the bull didn't quite come out um, when, it, when he should have. So Percy's been in action and he's got three of those four pregnant, which is good news. The only issue is we've been fattening them up and they're pretty chunky. So 
they'll just stay in this pen and they'll they'll come off the feed look at the size of her so she's needing to slim down she's needing to slim down and that wee one it didn't actually pack on much beef so it's okay and the one in the back is empty she'll go away and the blonde she's fine so that was unexpected good news four three more calves than we thought we were having um, and we don't need to put them away to the slaughter we'll just need to ease them off the food crush worked well you might have got a wee video there got the last cow but it, it was working it was coming through it would just take a wee bit of getting used to and getting into a routine of who's doing what and where we're kind of me and dad were everywhere like well who's doing what job anyway that'll come as we put more and more through it i thought i did get a video of the cows using the auto shut off but it obviously didn't video i didn't click record or something so i've missed that so you're not get to see it in action sadly next time so next year when we're scanning we'll make sure and take the bull out in time we just we ended up really busy it was when was that done september yes yeah, so it would be harvest and sunflowers and never we never got around to taking percy out so next year if we just make sure we'll definitely get percy out in time and then wait i don't know 45 days after that you'd be sure to get a good result on all the cows anyway job done take this for a spin in the yard see what it's like i'll do a proper actual walk around it tomorrow although they don't take long basically just going to see if i can get it stuck that's top speed 9k maybe 10. bit of a bump there slow down i think if the yard was looser more like uh, gravelly then it would get stuck more but it's solid the yard although it's not concreted out right here it is hard so it's not going to dig itself holes yeah, it's getting on fine just now i mean it's they're built for flat ground like concrete but i mean it's been absolutely fine along there the likes of this bit here we're hoping to concrete that just relatively soon so that won't be an issue there's forks on a trailer not sure why totally turns on a sixpence getting a bit dizzy to be honest says i'm traveling at 1.5k it's a broadway machine just shifting a few boxes because bin vans here and that box is too hard against it so i'll just get this shifted out of the road because the other fork lifts away, so can't just shimmy in the bin. That's just working fine. And he'll be able to get in, hopefully. Anyway, back she goes to the warehouse. He's managed to get in there. They usually rattle it back and forward after I've jammed it full. That I mean a tag number for a black coo in here. You can't see anything in here can I? get too far. I just take my time here. I want you. See those two eyes? That's the tag I'm after. Watch my step. It's not 533 so it must be that one and I know I've got both those passports. You can't see anything I'm pointing at but anyway I'm just gonna get out of here. Right anyway that's everything for this video. I'm just You won't be able to see anything over there but there's one cow in there I need to get the passport number because she's away to the market tomorrow to get sold. We're also going to try and buy some store cattle and there's also some in calf cows for sale off of a dispersal so we may end up with more cows we may end up with some stores we definitely need stores that's all we need we might buy cows uh, and that cow that's empty is going to get sold and my shoes are covered in sh oh yeah what steel is containers made of cork and steel basically forms a layer of rust big broccoli here a layer of rust small broccoli actually a layer of rust on the steel which is quite stable compared to normal like mild steel rust so it doesn't pit right into the, the steel it's kind of like a protective surface coating rather than painting containers they do still get painted but when the paint gets knocked off or rubbed off the the rust protects the steel behind it do you see the rust?